this edition of Stream of the Game. I'm Ro, contributor for State of the U and original member of the Orange Bowl Boys. Rhett Lashley offered, so you know that means we're going to have to watch. And who are we watching? Miller Moss, 2021 quarterback prospect from Mission Hills, California, standing in at 6'2", 197 pounds. And let's roll the tape, shall we? Two by two look. Now, I don't know what happened earlier in the game, but based on this kind of a concept, I'm pretty sure this buddy right here said, I could take this buddy right here to school all day. And that's exactly what Miller Moss did. And in this case, I like the trajectory. Trajectories is the type of balls. Can you float a ball in if you need to? Can you put one on a straight line? And right here, at the snap of the ball, cover zero, get burnt. Nice trajectory over the outside shoulder. Bang. See, I really like this play, and I like this ability in a quarterback. Now, when you look at this, he's going to look like he's falling away. His arm action is a little elongated, but you have to understand why. You have to be able to stop the tape and realize why did the quarterback change his delivery system. And I'm going to tell you why right here. You're going to see this left tackle. He's going to kick out right here on what appears to be this wide nine. And then you're going to have a center guard combo right here on the defensive tackle. Now, you're going to have a walk-up linebacker. He's just essentially going to have free reign. So when you see this play coming, he, quarterback knows this. He's got to get rid of this ball really, really quick. And let's watch how he does it. Bang. So I really want to go under the hood and watch Miller Moss's mechanics here on this play. But before we get there, let's notice what's going on with the play. You're going to notice empty set, right? Five wide receivers. Nobody in the backfield. And you're going to notice that the defense is going to bring six. As a quarterback, I'm always responsible for my own coverage anytime I'm in empty, and especially when somebody could potentially be coming free. And when it's a six on five, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Now, you got to keep that in consideration. So when you're watching some fundamentals, you just have to ask yourself why. But right here, you're going to notice right there, right at that last back foot, I would preach to go ahead and maybe get a little bit more balanced. You're starting to see a little bit more weight onto that back foot. And you want to go ahead and transfer that through. I get that. But you're going to notice that it doesn't necessarily follow through on the actual delivery of the ball right here. See, you want to go ahead and get that through so you can deliver the ball with more velocity, if you, mind you, if more accurately. But here's the deal. This guy's bearing down on them. This is going to be bang, bang. He senses that. That's just an innate sense that, you know what? If I step into this throw, buddy's going to bang me out. Now, even though you're off platform, you have to adjust because the defense isn't going to let you be perfect. Let's watch where the ball goes. Bang. So this is one of the plays that's really sticking out for me with Miller Moss. And simply because of the arm confidence. They're going to run a high-low crosser. You're going to see the halfback going to go ahead and chase in the flats. Now, we're going to go ahead and watch this first low crosser. There it is. Okay, now, Miller has already decided that he's going to hit the same route a little higher up the field. But look at the coverage and look at the confidence to go ahead and pull the trigger. Accurate dime. That's going to be a first down. Good stuff. So this is an example of a young quarterback whose first read is taken away. And he has a presence of mind to keep his eyes upfield because you never know what's about to develop. Let's watch it. Not there. Oh, there he is. So when you're watching quarterbacks, you want to see certain trajectories, right? That's going to show you your touch passes. That's going to show you like your over-the-top dimes. And that's going to show you this trajectory, the straight line. Because this... This is a laser beam. You're going to see Mailer Moss on this play, though. You're going to notice he's a lot more balanced and straight up and vertical on this back step. I think this is going to allow him to go ahead and get his backside through just a little bit better. And right here, they're running a mirrored wheel and bang a concept. This is going to be like short, skinny posts. And just watch this arm and watch the trajectory. Draw an imaginary line from how the quarterback's going to go ahead and throw the ball to his receiver. Boom. Now, it's not every day where you're going to go ahead and highlight a check down. But in this case, I think it's important to note Miller Moss's pocket awareness and his navigation skills. 
He's like a tightrope walking ninja. So you're going to see a lot of beef by this defensive tackle right here. And you know what? It's pretty quick. A little spin move. He's going to go ahead and put a lot of pressure and collapse the pocket. Now take note of Moss's position in the pocket. Because watch this lateral burst to get away from the defense tackle right here. Good movement. Keeps the eyes upfield. And that sense to basically go ahead and circumnavigate to the left. Keep your eyes upfield and still sense your check down. Now, yeah, Ro, it's just a check down. But is it really? It's not just a check down. So let's set up a play. This is going to be three by one look, pistol formation, and this is going to be an RPO. The halfback's going to carry out a dive, and the X receiver is going to go ahead and carry out a slant. This is a post snap RPO where the quarterback's going to be reading this cornerback out here in coverage. Now, there's a couple questions every time I see this variety of play and what I like to see the quarterback do. And number one, can the quarterback be quick? Does he have quick, decisive movements to carry out the fake in the pocket? And does he have quick feet to go ahead and readjust and get himself into a throwing position? Number two, can the quarterback be short? Can a quarterback actually go ahead and shorten up his delivery system so he can get, more importantly, his receiver the ball when he needs it? And it's not necessarily how he'd like to normally deliver it. And three and the most important, can he be accurate? So let's see if Miller Moss pulls off all three. Can he be quick? Yes. Can he be short? Yes. Can he be accurate? Oh, yeah. Bang. Bang. Yeah.